Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the single event listing shortcode. Okay. So before starting the video, I'm gonna navigate to our knowledge base because the shortcode we need is in the knowledge base and you will have a written documentation and we'll follow the knowledge base as well for the video. Okay. So let's open up our official website. We're gonna navigate to knowledge base and we're gonna search for the single event listing okay so we need to click on the very first link and then we will copy the shortcode uh, from here but before that let me explain uh, what the knowledge base is about so with wp event manager we give you to uh, we give you the availability to display one single event in a new page on the front end side using just one single line of shortcode okay so for the example let's open and event in the front end side and I'm going to show you how we can achieve the same result using just a single line of shortcode. Okay, so let's open the another awesome event in here. And you see this uh, event details page over here, like how it looks, okay, including tickets and all. We will have the same result, but using a single line of shortcode. So this is helpful when you are creating a custom event, uh, like single event listing page. You can use the shortcode to design your own. Okay, so the shortcode we need is event. Okay, and we will require to supply an ID parameter or attribute to the event shortcode. Okay, so let's copy the whole shortcode that's been provided into the web uh, knowledge base. And I'm gonna explain it to you how you can embed your own event uh, using the event shortcode. Okay, so for that, let's create a new page on a new tab. And let's say custom single event okay i'm gonna paste the uh, shortcode over here but pay attention to the next step okay we're gonna replicate this page using the shortcode so take a note of the uh, event name we're gonna open up our event uh, dashboard okay on the back end side so as i said for event shortcode to work you need to supply your event id okay so over here the example is 3169 but uh, it's a dummy account so how you can obtain the event id uh, like a particular events id pretty simple when you are at the event dashboard just hover over the event title and you will have a tooltip stating the event id okay so we're gonna take the another awesome event right so this one if we hover you will see the id for that event is one two two okay so let's overwrite this predefined id to one two two we're gonna click on publish and we're gonna open this link in a new tab. Okay. So in this page, now we see the uh, another awesome event be being printed over here, okay? So only difference between this uh, event details page or about this event details page is we don't see the organizer section. So that's how it works. In this event details page, we'll be able to find the organizer details and below that, if event has a venue, the venue details. But in the custom event details page, you won't be able to find the organizer details and the venue details. So it will only print out the event details, okay? Such as the event banner, event title or the name, the organizer name, the view count, and the description for it, the date and time, location, and like uh, sharing buttons and the ticket information as well, okay? So pretty simple and pretty elegant. So that's pretty much it's actually for this video. Uh, the event shortcode takes an ID parameter where you can supply an event ID to print out the event details in a new page. Okay. So let us know in the comment if you have any doubts about the event shortcode. I will be sure to help you out and come join me in our next video where we will talk about something else, something amazing. So until next time, I'm Sharad saying goodbye. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.